Hey, Faith family. I am so glad that you could join me today. I'm really looking forward to this as I was doing my devotional. I was just thinking, I was looking forward to spending the time with you and realizing that we're praying together, we're reading scripture together, we're doing this together. That makes us faith family. It's kind of cool to think about. Um, so I'm glad you joined us. We're at day 16 of the Wesley Covenant Prayer devotional. And this is the part of the prayer where we continue the line from yesterday where we say, uh, glorious and blessed God and we just pause and reflect take everything that we've said so far and 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 turn it towards God and stand and just pause and reflect on who God is and so now we name the Trinity Father Son and Holy Spirit and even in when I pray this it, during this devotional I've, I've kind of rattled through that blessed God Father Son and Holy Spirit and so today I stopped and just began to reflect on that and that's that's a powerful part of the prayer if you just stop and think about what you're saying. Um, Chris Folmsby writes in his book, the one we've been following, he says, naming the Trinity is perhaps naming the biggest mystery of God in Christianity. To evoke the Trinity then in the form of prayer might very well be the most profound act a Christian can carry out. And how true is that? Uh, you, you're not just calling on, on a distant God, but you're you're calling on, on the God who is all persons of the Godhead in every aspect that God exists throughout this world and the action of God, the work of God. It, you're, you're calling on all of that and, and addressing everything that God is and everything that God does in this prayer. Um, Chris also writes, he says, when we pray, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it is important to pray knowing that we have a relationship with God, the Trinity, and not just an intellectual acknowledgement of a de detached God who rules from a distant throne and loves with a withdrawn heart, right? Um, we are seeing this God who is in relationship, this God who has loved us enough to not, not rule from a distance, but to embody us, to, to die for us, to to live in our own flesh and show us what that looks like. And, and wow, that's who we're calling upon. The uh, scripture that I, I'm drawn to in this I'm, is, is just, this is it for me. W when I pause and reflect on what it means to pray in the Trinity, this is where I, I went to. And it's perfect in, in, in the, my interpretation. It's Ephesians chapter 4. And the subtext or the heading of the text is unity in the body. And it's, this is Paul. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. So he's talking to the, uh, the church in Ephesus. Really, Ephesians was not written for a specific church. Uh, it was written as a general letter that was intended to be circulated around churches all over. So this book, I did an in-depth study of it, really is a book that was written for us. You know, it was intended when it was written to be for us. It could be talking to you. He says, you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit. Holy Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Here's the work of the Holy Spirit, bringing us together, calling us into action, naming us as the body and the church. He says, for there is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. Here's the Spirit's work within us, calling us to the missional work of God, right? The relational development of the body of Christ. Us even though we're from completely different places, viewing this in completely different times, we're united right now as faith family by the Spirit. And then he goes on to say there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all, right? However, he's given each one of us a special gift through the generosity of Christ. So we've seen God the Father, we've seen God the Spirit, we've seen the Godhead. That's why the scriptures say that when he ascended to the heights, he led a crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. And then, then he names the gifts of, uh, of the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers. Um, and their responsibility 
is to equip God's people to do His work and build up the church, the body of Christ. When we stop in this devotional arm and I saw, and I call out the, the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I'm realizing the, just the depth and width and breadth and magnitude of who God is and God's love and God's diversity and the way that God cares for this world and the people that God created. Uh, and also, I realize that I'm asking to be a part of that relationship. This is the cool part. I'm not just saying, calling a name. I'm saying you guys are in a relationship with each other. The Godhead is a relationship of these, uh, the, the God persons of the Godhead working together to fulfill the mission of God. And so by calling on that, I'm asking to be a part of that to be a part of that relationship, not to be God, obviously, but to be somehow connected in relationship with God. And that is incredibly powerful to think about. That's that relationship. Chris writes, in addition, when we pray, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we also identify the missional nature of God revealed in Scripture. God the Father sends God the Son. God the Son sends God the Spirit. God the Spirit sends us, the church, into the world. We are the church, united together by the Spirit, brought together by a God who, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, created everything and has a purpose for everything. And we're taking all these things that we've asked for, and we're asking to be uh, in this. We're calling out on God who's in perfect relationship and asking Him to employ us. As I'm doing this devotional day I was doing it, I started really late, I looked up and it had begun snowing. And I was thinking about how God in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit just blankets and covers everything. You know, every aspect of, of, the, of, of life is attended to by God through the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The way that we are loved is not just one way, in one specific manner, but by all three persons of the Godhead. And so it began snowing. I'm going to show you this. Uh, and, and I want you to think about the snowfall. And I got, I've got, i got um, some yard work and I had a plumbing issue be fixed. But look at this. The snow is falling. I'm going to put this right up to the window. The snow is falling. And not a single one of the snowflakes is the same as another snowflake. Yet together they are they're blanketing everything. They're covering everything right now. In my yard, in the tree, they're just, they're, there's God through the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As we call out upon that, we're realizing that the God we commit these gifts to is covering everything. Our future, our past, our present, our inner thoughts, our emotions, our actions, each of us, all of us together. Yes. So let's pray this prayer. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, hope it came across today, a coherent, uh, holy God. I'm no longer my own, but yours. So put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing put me to suffering. Let me be employed for you or laid aside for you. Let me be exalted for you or brought low for you. Let me be full. Let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and wholeheartedly yield all things to your good pleasure and disposal. And now, glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are mine, and I am yours. So be it. Let this covenant made here on earth be ratified in heaven. Amen. Ah, all right. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, and we're getting to the end of the study, too. So if you have another thing that you... Do you like this? You want to keep doing this together? Do you have something else you want to study? You might post a comment. Um, love to hear what you think. Always love. Bye-bye.